Hey, what's happening? One journeyman here, and welcome back to my Championship Manager 0102 save with Manchester City, the start of season three. So, uh, yeah, it's been a long summer, and obviously, I mentioned I took that week off, a little bit of hiatus from Championship Manager, but we're back into things, and uh, we're starting a new season with new ambitions. And um, honestly, I think we could do well this year. We made some really, really good signings. So, first and foremost, let's go over some of those transfers that came into the club. So, I've spent 11.5 million pounds and I bought in four what I deem to be quality players. Now, one of them is a long shot. Don't know if he's going to turn out to be any good. He was recommended to me. Uh, that was Richard Sadlier. He had a pretty good preseason for the limited time he had, uh, just because he didn't picked up a knock and he couldn't get that much playing time. But he's got two goals, and honestly. <laughs> He's kind of a backup option, but uh, nevertheless, it was a free transfer, so it wasn't really much of a risk there. And then the big summer signing, of course, was Maxim Silgoko. Got him eventually for £2.5 million, pounds, and obviously we're going to base a lot of our attack up top with him and Tom Madeira. I expect to score him, him score a lot of goals. In fact, he got seven during preseason, so it was a good preseason for him. And then I bought in a backup goalkeeper, Andreas Azakerson. Um, a lot of play people are familiar with this goalkeeper. I'm sure you are out there. Uh, very good young goalkeeper. Still got shows a lot of promise. Can definitely push uh, Chiotis for that first team spot. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I bought in Mads Jorgensen as a creative midfielder. Um, his creativity is only 14, but what I like about him is his long shots, his off-the-ball movement, his work rate, stamina's good, set pieces. He's a very well-rounded midfielder, and I definitely think he could be a useful player in the middle of the park. And I paid a, probably a lot of money, probably a bit too much for him, 7.25 million, but we do have an excess amount of money, and I'm not really known for spending that much money, so I didn't mind the occasional high, high bid like this one here. So players going out, um, one noticeable player was Pamadou Carr. I decided to move on for him. He wasn't really going to get any playing time with me, so I moved him on for a little bit of a profit, um, just about a million pounds in profit. He only played two games last season, for instance, and honestly, I've got much, much better options. And, um, oh, actually, one of the sign-ins isn't actually on here, so let's go back. Obviously, at the end of the season as well, I did actually sign Philippe Mexis. Obviously, this is a uh, very well-known championship manager defender. Uh, top, top talent. Right now, he's only a sweeper. I'm trying to retrain him to play as a, def a uh, center, center back. And then he'll be partnered next to Asan NDR. So, basically, the, those two can form, I think, probably the best center-half par parent in championship manager. And uh, I, expect to, I expect to concede a lot less goals this year. And again, do expect a lot uh, better performance this year from Chiotas, who honestly had a pretty poor season last time out. Um, so, this is how the first team looks on the opening day of the season. We're going up against Chelsea today. Uh, yep, Chelsea and then Blackburn, Ipswich, Tottenham, Liverpool. So, we've got some pretty big games at the start of the season uh, to kick things off. Um, I've also made a few tactical tweets and adjustments uh, just to try and, um, I don't know, just try and kind of dominate a little bit more. Uh, for instance, what I've done here is I've worked on our defensive shape and pattern. I've basically brought players... Um, in the kind of narrowed them up a little bit so without the ball i want them to be able to really crowd the box and uh, when we go forward i want players to sit narrow yes i understand it's very narrow formation but narrow tends to be overpowered in championship manager 0102 so i'm trying to work on that <clears throat> and i found i put on a few different instructions to like the through balls i've changed and long shots i've added long shots to the sentiment fielder um so basically, instead of them having to not be able to take any shots at all, having to rely on the front four, the uh, centre midfielder is going to be able to take those long shots now. So um, just little tweaks, little adjustments. Um, hopefully, it'll make a big difference to our performances. Preseason went pretty well. We only lost two games uh, against probably our two toughest opposition, which is a little bit alarming for me. Uh, that was Boa Vista and Espanol. Um, so we put in some good performances. We just didn't get the result we wanted. But apart from that, it went preseason pretty much went as well as anyone could have expected. So without further ado, uh, let's jump straight into the game today. We're up against Chelsea, as we mentioned. Um, let's go with the first team choices to Chortis in goal. Uh, Jamie Victory at left back, Michael Duff at right back. Center halves, uh, Mexi, unfortunately, is returning from injury. So it's going to be uh, Freddie Risp and Asan and Uh Holding midfielder is going to be John Welsh. Definitely grow and develop in there. He's turned into a very nice player. Uh, midfield, Mark Kerr, by the way, has been uh, hounded all summer by tons and tons of uh, teams. And he's at the point now where he actually feels he needs to leave to further his career. I still think if we can start winning games this season, I think Mark Kerr 
uh, will be willing to stay. Uh, I'm going to go with Mark Kerr. I'm going to do with uh, Joric in the middle, uh, with Jorgensen on the right of him. And up top, we're going to go with the partnership, of course, of Tomadira and Maxime uh, Selgoko. Again, I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing the name right, but I think it sounds good. It sounds good, so we're going to stick with it. Uh, on the bench, of course, is Akerson. Um, let's do a Zakerson. Let's do Hagen, I guess, because he can play holding midfielder. Uh, and let's go attack in. Let's do London, Karlstrom. And then here's a choice here because I'm going to pick being Barsom, uh, Tonson, Zulu, Makoko, and Peter Crouch. I might just do Peter Crouch because it gives us a little bit of a different option, obviously, with his superiority in the air. So let's roll with that. Um, obviously, today uh, up against Chelsea, away from home. Very tough start to the season. Didn't actually notice with 30 risk, but 67% condition. That's not ideal. So we'll have to keep an eye on his fitness levels. We'll bring on Hagen if we need to. All right. So obviously, be good to get off to the start of the season with a win. Tomadura getting off to a good start there. One goal. And uh, what do you guys think? Do you think um, who's going to get more goals this season? Tazoka does uh, double the lead. Who is going to score more between Maxime, Tazoko, and Tomadura? Put in the comments below. We'll take a look at the end of the season. But uh, I got a funny feeling that Tomadura is going to have a bounce back year. He did pretty well last year. He got 20 goals. But I think he can go and score 30 in the Premier League. And I think some of the changes I make has actually will, uh, will help him. Um, get, get a few more opportunities and we're definitely much more creative in midfield than we were last year uh, without a shadow of a doubt so things go very well the half here two nil up very very strong Chelsea team Emmanuel Petit Hasselbank uh, Janino Marcel Desi John Terry 22 year old John Terry uh, Sean Gregan familiar with him yeah he used to play for Preston that's it uh, Jesper Gronka and Mario Malchot so they've got a pretty strong team today and we're playing very very well um, let's hope we can hope it stays that way Again, I've got to keep an eye on Freddy Resp's condition. It's now 65%, so he's holding on okay. But I may have to have been hard on it at some point. All right, so uh, 70 minutes on the clock here. And, of course, they go and saw Mario Melchior. out. didn't expect that one. Um, yeah, Chelsea's starting to take over a little bit more now. Let's go back to overview real quick. What I'm going to do is take off the forward run of the center midfielder. Uh, actually, you can take them all off. And then what I'm going to do is bring off Fred Risp and bring on Hagen in his place. Jorgsen and Jordovic has done okay today, but I'm going to bring on I'm going to bring on Kim Karlstrom. Uh, Kim Karlstrom. And then I'm going to bring on London as well. I'm going to put Mark uh, in the middle because that just feels a bit better to me. All right, so here we go. Ten minutes to hold on now to get a victory on the opening day. Come on, boys. Just got to hold on for this. and be a crucial, crucial win at the start of the season. Uh, come on. Extra time should be over now. Any second now. Come referee. The full time whistle. There it is. 2 1 winners on the opening day. Uh, Maxim Sazelko getting a goal on his debut. Tomadu opened up the scoreline as well. Uh, so we get moved to the fourth place on the table. Obviously, Border very happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Uh, we move on to our next game, which is Blackburn midweek. Uh, let's see. Obviously, led by Paolo One Sharp, our former striker. All right, so we'll move on, moving on, moving on. So, uh, Carlo Nash, um, Carlo Nash has been selected for the England squad. How desperate must England be right now? Well, they've got Richard White, Chris Kirkland, and Carl. And so, yeah, they're, they're pretty desperate for uh, players. Um, Peter Crouch, not actually surprised by um, Joe John, uh, Defoe, Jeffers, Fowler, Phillips. Crouch does, have, does have, definitely gives them like another option up there. So that doesn't really surprise me. John Welsh, under twenty one squad. Um, Four players for Sweden, not a surprise. Lagmir Kostjum, under 21. Marco Richie's going to Scotland. Whitley's going to uh, Northern Ireland. And then, again, just like um, just like Mark Kerr, Kim kostrom has been hounded this summer too with lots of transfer bids. But, again, he's not for sale as well. He's a big part of my future. And uh, Tonton Zulimokoka has gone to Ghana on international duty. So, all right. So, good start to the episode there. Winning 2-1 over Chelsea. Uh, in the League Cup, we draw Swansea at home, which is good. That means we probably rest a few players, or at least uh, squad rotation. Try something a little bit different. All right. So, um, check on the condition of the players. Obviously, we knew Risp struggled the last game. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start uh, Hagen instead of him. Put Risp on the bench. Eric's Olsen could play him because he's actually turned into a really nice defender too. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do Eric's and Olsen instead of Risp. Uh, Risp, he hasn't developed as I would have liked just quite yet. I mean, he is still young. He's only 22 years old and it's good to have options. So we're going to keep him around for now. Rasberg, honestly, he could probably go ahead and leave. I don't think he's going to fulfill the potential that I saw in him originally. Um... 
who else? Uh, oh, yeah, I need to send a lag me on loan because getting some first team football. But anyway, um, keeping the same team out there, Hagen obviously comes in for rest. That's the only change we're going to make up against Blackburn. A very, very strong Blackburn team it is. So, all right, come on, boys. Let's get another win, make it two in a row. All right, come on. So 20 minutes in. Of course, Blackburn score straight. Colin Cameron. Quality centre midfielder in this game. All right, so there they go. Asan and Diar gets his first goal for the club, gets in there. Colts play as a holding midfielder, but I think he's going to be partnering. Uh, Philip makes this. That's going to be the best partnership we have. Sorry, I'm actually fighting a cold right now, which is why there wasn't a video yesterday. Um, so I'm taking lots and lots of fluids just to try and get it out of my system as quick as I can because obviously the weekend I want to start doing a journeyman's journey that's the next big save for the channel and obviously I want to continue of uh, where in the world too so you have to apologize for me drinking in the middle episode I'm not trying to be rude I'm just trying to get trying to get better you know um all right so 60 minutes in here doing pretty well honestly doing pretty well just need to get that second goal if we can we could bring on Peter Crouch change things up a little bit yeah, let's bring on Peter Crouch. Let's just try something a little bit different. Let's put Peter Crouch on. All right, which means we have to change how we play a little bit. So Peter Crouch, not going to make him do forward runs. I'm definitely not going to make him run with the ball, which is good. Um, cross the ball. I want the lots of crosses to be in the box from a wide positions, Jorgensen, because I want Peter Crouch to get on the end of them. So, all right, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, let's also bring on Karlström for Pedrag, who's been poor yet again honestly if he doesn't his performance doesn't start to improve uh he may he may be showing the door soon all right so come on boys ah, can i get that win at them um otherwise played pretty well uh, lots of shots and goals disappointing not to get the win but still a uh a draw is a draw at least not a defeat okay okay so uh, a lot more call-ups to international duty Jeez, Michael Ricketts, fourteen million pounds. This game's fucking ridiculous sometimes. Michael Ricketts, are you? F <laughs> Last time I checked, he was still trying to find a club. Um, yep, yeah, no, not gonna accept that at all. One point eight million is far too. Not enough money. Not enough money for him. He's a much better player than that. So, all right. So, it looks like it might be the same team yet again. Philomexis isn't quite back and ready to go yet. Uh, I'm actually not going to play Jordovic though. I'm going to play Mark Kerr through the middle. Actually, yeah. Well, no, actually, I'm going to do. I'm going to Kalstrom for the middle. Let's do Kalstrom for the middle. Put Pedrag on the bench. And now up against Ipswich. Now this is a slightly easier game. This is one I do expect to perform a little bit better in. I'm actually going to play London ahead of uh, Yorkson as well because he's struggling condition-wise. Um, all right, let's go into this game. I'm confident in the team I put out there will get a victory. A couple of small tweaks and changes, and um, that's not doesn't help really, is it? Uh, Hagen getting injured eight minutes in. But lucky enough, we got a good defender on the bench to take a spot. So that's where you got a squad. That's where you build a squad. And Asan and Diar gets a second goal of the season now, a top score in the club. All right, so 1 0 up. Only one shot, though. Actually playing pretty well against us. David Prutton, that's a player that I really should have signed early on, but didn't get my hands on him, unfortunately. How good does he look right now? And he turns into a really, really good defensive player. Yeah, he's a good player, isn't he? Okay, so. All right, halftime. Doing okay. Doing okay. They're they're pushing us. They're pushing us. But um, still holding strong at the back. It looks a much more improved defensive display this season compared to last thus far. All right, 64 minutes in. I've got Titus Bramble, Tommy Smith. I recognize a few names pop up here and there. Ooh, Sizolko could have scored there. All right, so check on the condition of the guys. Anyone needs to come off. Mark Kerr perhaps need a break. Uh, let's bring on Mads Jorgensen instead. And let's also let's bring on Peter Crouch. All right, let's do the changes again. Uh, cross the ball in the box. We want my wide men to cross it in. Um, long shots, it's fine. Hold up ball. Nope. Uh, run with the ball, definitely not Peter Crouch. Uh, so Zolko can run with the ball instead. So, all right. So those quick changes there. Let's see if we can get a second goal here. All right, it's 82 minutes in. All right, come on, just hold on a little bit longer now. Almost got a second goal there. Uh, 
come on, boys. Just hold on just a little bit more. Come on. Start the season unbeaten. Ooh, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Freddy Canuna getting a goal in the extra time. Damn it. I had a feeling that would happen, to be honest with you. They've been knocking on our door all game long. All right, so disappointing. That's a very, very disappointing draw. Uh, just couldn't hold on that one minute longer. And this is a player I try to bring in, uh, Gennady Zouk, who is a striker. He's only 24 years old, uh, tons and tons of potential, scored lots and lots of goals last season. Couldn't get the deal done, work permit has been denied for him. So, uh, disappointing there. All right, and we're taking on this guy. No, he's not very good, is he? Uh, Ludley King's gone to Charlton. Mexis is back and available again. Uh, deny the rumor. Marker is not for sale. I will make. Nope. Kim Kallstrom, seven million. New no, thank you. Again, I'm not. I mean, I'm going to put my foot down. Usually, I'm pretty uh, liberal about if a player wants to leave, they can leave. However, Marker is a very, very important player to our team. So, you'll have to suck it up and play. Unfortunately, and uh, when he sees what kind of team we're going to turn into, I got a funny feeling he's going to want to stay despite him probably being a little upset with the fact that um despite the fact he's not going to be a little bit upset they can't go on a, I, haven't, I haven't accepted his transfer request um jamie peters new youth player so so doesn't look that good um all right so everything looks pretty mundane here just more call-ups just more call-ups to the first team squad okay Dean Richards, 8.25 million to Charlton. Charlton trying to spend some money right now. Jesus. Uh, Mexi, so you fit. Uh, Asana and Dyer actually is injured. Three weeks of a groin strain. Disappointing. Uh, top goal score being out. Um, all right, so we've got Olsen, and then we have obviously Philippe is in the squad. We'll make his debut next time around. If I can find him. There he is. Found him. All right, and we're going up against Tottenham. Always a tough game. Always a tough game. All right, uh, 1.4 million, you've got to be having a laugh. Rejects all bids. Nope. 1.4 million for Mark Kerr. You are having a giraffe, sir. He is not for sale, especially for that price. All right, so two one one draws in a row. Disappointing, to say the very least. Uh, obviously, we didn't lose. That's great, but we're not scoring. We're not scoring as many goals as we should. We are a much better team than this, and especially attacking talent. No two ways about it. We are a much better side. Um, all right. So how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? So Carlstrom, I'm actually going to take off the forward run. I'm going to sit back a little bit, be more, a bit more of a creative talent. His long shots should still be on. They are. Um, run with the ball. Carlstrom, no. Tazolko can run with the ball because he's a much much more skillful player. All right, so here we go. Uh, up against Tottenham, little changes, and Tzolko gets on the score sheet, four minutes in, gets in there. Gets in, oh, fuck you, Juan Pablo Angel. Ah, oh, now they got a player sent off, Lucas Neal. He is gone. All right, so it gives us a little bit of an advantage now for the rest of the game. We just have to take advantage of it. And that's Tzolko getting his third goal of the season. All right, so a new little competition between Tomadira and Tzolko. Uh, Tzolko's winning. He's got three goals. Tomadira's only got the one. And we're dominating possession right now. We should try and get a third goal just to ease nerves because obviously we gave away, obviously I uh, gave away that last minute goal against Ipswich. I don't want to see that happen again. All right, so things are going well. There's only one shot on goal on the course it went in. Um, all right, come on, boy. Just got a second half. See so who's playing well out there. Who's getting the most touches? Tell me it's been actually really, really quiet. And uh, Zolko got his hat trick, so congratulations to that some gentleman. Um, all right, so let's make some changes. Toe has been really quiet. Let's bring on Peter Crouch in his place. Uh, remember the ball, we'll take Crouchy off. All right, perfect. Uh, what other changes can we make? Condition. Carlson struggling. Let's bring on Jorgensen, sorry, Jorovic instead. Perfect. If we one up, uh, this game should be done now, I'll be honest with you. We've dominated it. Obviously, that sending off uh, helped us a lot. So, yeah, good good 4-1 victory there. Uh, move up to now into fourth place in the table. All right, so approaching 20 minutes on this video so far. So we got Liverpool. We'll do that We'll do that video, and then we'll do that game, and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll call this episode 
to an end. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Uh, what do you guys think of the sign-ins? Uh, do you like some of the changes that we've made to the first team? Um, I know I need to improve my fullback position. I love Mike Duff and Jamie Victory, but I feel like I need another option there. Cornelison really isn't that good good he's solid he's a decent backup but he's not the kind of player that i want to bring in in case i want to change things um so i mean i mean i guess olsen could play there technically but he's not really he's not really a great creative talent not good crossing i like my fullbacks to get plenty of assists and he's not going to fill that role uh disappointingly so um all right so hagen's gonna be on the bench instead of risp because hagen is just a little bit better right now all right, so that's the only change I'm going to make. I'm going to keep things as they are. Philippe Mixus obviously made his debut last time and did pretty well for himself. Actually, he got a six. Hmm. Disappointing. All right, so you're going to see a lot of that until he gets retrained to a centre-half role. Fuck you, Michael Owen. Um, you're going to see a lot of that. Uh, he always doesn't get great average rating, but when he does transfer to a defensive cent like a centre half role, the average rating shoots for the roof. He starts to play much much better. Um, so Zilko gets an equaliser there, gets in there, Maxim. That's the fifth goal of the season. This guy is going to score a hatful of goals. He's one of by he's by far one of the best strikers in the game, alongside Tomadera, Cherno Samba, Makoka. Definitely, definitely one of the top. I mean, I'm lucky to have honestly the three top strikers in the game. Uh, especially if what I pay for them is which is pretty much nothing. All right, so um, so far doing okay. One one Anfield. That's always a good, pleasing score line to the away manager. Of course, playing Ibrahim Saeed today, a player that we tried desperately to pick up but couldn't get a work permit for. Tomado smashed against a crossbar there. Unlucky there. Um, could I don't know. Things are pretty even. It could go either way so far. Um, all right, let's change things just a little bit. Let's. Bring off Kallström. Let's bring on Jorgensen. Let's move Mark Kerr to a little bit more central role. Uh, Tomado is struggling out there. Let's bring on Peter Crouch. And uh, let's go ahead and change what we need to change there. Um, I'm not going to make him on the ball. Okay, so uh, cross in. That's it. You cross in two. Cross in Mike Duff. Yeah, victory. Perfect. All right, so 15 minutes left to try and get a win. It. Oh, for fuck's sake, 15 minutes to equalize. Um, Michael Owen get a second goal there. Come on. Come on, Crouchy. Come on. Come on, boys. Get back in this. So far, my plan B hasn't worked. We're bringing on Peter Crouch and just putting the ball in the box. It just hasn't worked out in our favor. And unfortunately, that was our first loss of the season. Disappointing way to finish this episode. And we slipped down now to 10th spot in the table. Back to midi mid-table mediocrity. So, all right. Um, that's pretty much going to be all we have time for in this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the start of season three. Um, if you want to see more videos by me in the future, please subscribe, turn notifications on. Uh, obviously, um, I don't know if you guys saw the update video, but there'll be championship manager videos uh, every Tuesday. Wait, it'll be every yeah, Tuesday and Thursday every week. And then perhaps on Saturdays and Sundays if I get the time. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the start of season three. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Oh, sorry, questions. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions of any players that you think I should sign, any additions to the team, any little tweaks on the tactics. Please let me know because this is the first time really delve right into the tactical um, element of the game itself as a kid uh, most of my life i've pretty much kept it default but um, you know what i'm going to try and actually manage for a change so uh thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you all in the next part goodbye everyone goodbye